Um, Jermaine and I first met through my brother. Um, I knew him from, you know, from since we were teenagers, young teenagers. And I just knew him as my brother friend. However, we first met, met um, 2011. That's when we first started talking. The first time I made eyes on her was actually a time when she made me want to see this uh, It was probably around the year 2001. And I was playing basketball outside my neighborhood, on the outskirts of my neighborhood with a few friends. And she came to pick up who became one of my closest friends, her brother, Cleon. And when she picked him up, she was in the car with her mom. And she was not in what we would see as a passenger side on the right side, but she was on the left side because her mom had an international car from St. Kitts. And so when he got picked up by his mom, she was right there. I noticed her at that moment. And it wasn't like rockets and you know, glares and glamour and stuff like that, but I noticed that, oh, Clients as well, you know, and that was the first time I remember seeing that. Our first date was not a date per se, but we went to the movie theater, Sunny House, and it started from, it actually started before the plan, it started from Facebook. So I hit up, hit up in a message, I was like, hey man, we need to go out when I come back to the islands, and we need to do something, and have fun. And she had to remind me of this scheduled date that I set up via Facebook. Because I was in Dallas, she was in the Virgin Islands. And so I remember me being in the movies waiting for about probably seven to ten minutes. And I was over past the area, the concession area. And I looked over the, the door where she was. She was walking in. And you know, I was like, oh wow. You know, it started as being something like very just friendly. Like I was not attracted to her in that, you know, in that way. And she was not attracted to me in that way. But when she walked in, I noticed, you know, this particular splendidous woman, you know, walking in. I was like, man. So I had to shake it off. Like at that moment, I was like, oh, my friend's sister. You know, that's just my, 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 you know, that's my fam. That's just my, she's like, okay, I'm out. That's it. And um, that, that was our first stage. It, it, it turned into something that is very pivotal to our memory. And kind of uh, our building block. So what we became, you know, we, we love to watch movies, we love to enjoy the art of film and stuff like that. And um, up to this day, she still remember what I had on and, you know, the outfit, everything. And, and so it was a big moment in my life. So I guess it was a summer 2011 and that's the summer when we first started hitting it off. Um, I call it um, our Grease moment. Um, summer loving if anyone ever watched Grease. And I just knew at the end of that summer because of how it ended. We had a, I would call it our real first date where I actually planned a drive-in movie at my home and we watched a movie on my wall and we had dinner on the floor. I knew from then that that was the person that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Jermaine, I pray that you leave your lamb, wherever it is, and that it does not make it to a new apartment. Um, his lamb, for those of you that don't know, is a blanket that's filled with many homes. It's not holy, it's a holy lamb, literally. And he actually burned the lamb one day when he was sleeping in his closet, moving out. However, I pray that it doesn't make it to our apartment or to wherever it is that we'll be living. He needs to leave it wherever it is. We'll bury it, we'll say a prayer, we'll do whatever, as long as it stays Oh, yeah. Yeah. Extra room. Why do we need an extra room in our place when we move in? It's because she has a bunch of arts and crafts stuff. And I cannot do it all that stuff in that one room. So we need an extra room for her things, which we need. I proposed on my 25th birthday party. It was on my birthday. The birthday was coming up at 12 a.m. midnight. 
I wasn't really expecting it because of how much everyone emphasized that oh Jermaine needs a birthday party and he wants to have so much fun and this is the first party he's ever gonna have so like more more of my attention was on his planning this birthday party so I didn't really think about the fact that it would have been the actual proposal. But um, let me tell you about this. I was just leading up to it. So months before I proposed, of course, I tried to do all you know. Kind of that thing that everybody says is dead, you know, chivalrous thing. And I tried to make sure I talked to the parents and I, you know, read the, the manual for rules for gentlemen, what you're supposed to do, all that stuff. I already told me that we would not have gotten married until we finished graduating, which was this, the end of this year, May of this year. So it wasn't really on my mind, but I basically planned my own proposal. I remember me calling the <laughs> father. On October the 5th, I was at a gas station. I was in Dallas, so I couldn't meet him face to face. So I called him with confidence, but at the same time, I was contemplating whether or not it was the best time to do such because I was away. So I called him and we spoke for a little bit, and I asked him uh, for his daughter's hand in marriage. And uh, the funny response was that he, he said, well, sonny boy, um, you know, I've known you for some time, I've watched you, I've observed you, and I feel like you know, you'd be the best suited man for this, you know, for, for being able to be in my family and taking my, my daughter's hand in marriage. And he gave me kind of a long speech, he's a preacher. And so um, I uh, we sat there at the gas station, you know, I was finished pumping my gas, I was just like, okay, yes sir, yes sir, and that was it. You know. <laughs> Husband, Mr. Rally, I pray that together we continue on the path that God has for us and that we continue to strive for His best and do His will in our life and that our purpose continue to be in Him as we grow in love and in synergy together. Hey, Angel. I just wanted to tell you this. Get ready. Why? Because being a mommy ain't easy. You already know this. But being with me don't require a lot of work. So buckle up and get ready because you're going to work.